Right, when you're ready to start assembling, after you finish your Lego piece and you're ready to start assembling, you're going to go to click the new, the black arrow next to new, click assembly. When this opens up, you want to make sure that this says place. You're going to click place. This is how you're going to place your videos. Make sure it says your file name down here and click open. Your first piece will automatically show up. Then you want to use your center scroll on your mouse and scroll out. And you, every time you left click, then a new piece is going to be placed. You want to place them so there's space between them. You don't want to place them on top of each other. And don't place too many. You can always come back and add more by going back to this place button. Once you have enough pieces, I'd say 10 or so, then you're going to right click and hit OK. And now you're ready to start mating and flushing them to get them to stick together. On the yellow sheet of paper behind your computer are the directions to mate and flush. So I'm going to go over direction A. You want to click constraint. Direction A is just stacking them on top of each other. The first direction says to mate. So you're going to click mate and you want to mate the top of one piece to the bottom. If you To get to the bottom, if you put your mouse on the cube and you left click and then drag up, they'll all kind of pivot around to the bottom of another one. We want to make sure we have the whole bottom highlighted, not just a circle, not an edge, the whole bottom. When you're finished with that, click apply. Then it says to mate fronts. Well, we know when we built this that this is the front of our Lego piece, or to flush front, sorry. We know when we built this, this is the front of our Lego piece. So you're going to click flush, flush your fronts. You have to click apply. The third step of A says to flush sides. So flush the sides of them and click apply. Now if I try to move this, it moves as one. I'm going to hit my house button so I go back out. They just move as one. If you expand your browser, click on a piece, expand your browser, you can see the pieces that you've made it in flush. If you put your mouse over them, it highlights your mates in flush. There's mate in top of my, mate my top and bottom, flush my fronts, flush my sides. You also notice in your browser that the very first piece that you place has a pin next to it, so you can't move it like you can the other ones. If you right click on this and unground it, then you can move this. All right, and now to stagger them, like B says, if you want to stagger one on top of one, uh, choose constraint. It tells you to, con just like before, mate the top of one. Remember, we want the whole top to the bottom of another. Left click on your cube, drag it over. The bottom, we don't want an edge. You want the whole bottom highlighted. You can scroll in to see more. Click Apply. Now, some of you are going to think this didn't do anything because it didn't move. But remember, we have to finish all three steps. And now we're, the next step then says to flush our fronts. That's the front, front, click Apply. Still, it's not where we want it to, but we have one more step. And this one says to flush our sides. Those are our sides that are going to be touching. Now, if we want it staggered in this offset button, you're going to type a 1, and that makes it go one way. We type a 1 because our whole width when we made our Lego was 2, so half of it would just be 1. Um, if you want it to go the other direction, you're going to type a negative 1 in that offset. Click Apply, and now they're stuck together. Again, you can find that piece on your browser, expand it, and you can see the mates and flushes that you applied to that piece if you made any mistakes. Okay, so that's A and B. Um, you should be able to figure out C. Just don't forget to always go back and look in your browser if you made a mistake and scroll over it. Notice that I've that my very first piece that I did, this middle piece, has can show all the mates and flushes, but I don't have a whole lot. Um, just three for, for each piece.